Um, all right, I have an argument now. This well, is it. Uh, I, I learned from you. Got to do it in threes. Um, did not the Manhattan uh, 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 District Attorney's Office say that there would be no decision this week from the grand jury? Didn't they uh, uh, I I issue that statement uh, just a day or two ago? I don't know. I thought they said they were going on holiday. There was a debate about whether the grand okay. jury would be around. Right. They're going on holiday. But then they come out with a, uh, a, a decision. Didn't they lie? How can we trust anything they say? <laughs> that's that's weak stuff, Sam. Even what do you say? <laughs> even if you pretend right wing bookie uh, I mean, what I find fascinating, one thing I would say is I'm glad you raised that issue, Sam, because it, it enables me to remind everyone that it was a grand jury. It was a grand jury that Donald Trump on Wednesday night was praising on Truth Social. I don't know if any of you saw Trump's post where he said, I have great faith in the grand jury system and mm. grand juries who look at him. I mean, it, that great irony of pinning this all on Bragg and by extension Soros and by extension the Democratic Party and by extension the deep state is that actually Alvin Bragg didn't make, he, Alvin Bragg's not the person who voted, right? We, that's the whole system in this country. Whatever you think about juries and grand juries, uh, it was a bunch of people in Donald Trump's home city uh, who voted to say, you know what, on the strength of the evidence we've heard, including witnesses from Trump's side, uh, we think crimes were committed. I mean, d d we don't know how many, uh, more than one, certainly. And we will see when that sealed indictment is opened. It'll be very interesting to see what they're actually going to go after him specifically on. Um, as I say, they, I, I just want to keep adding this caveat. The grand jury may be wrong. Alvin Bragg may be wrong. And Donald Trump may win in court, may have his days innocent until proven guilty. Fine with me. Again, it's every yep. accusation is a confession. I'm not the person who believes in using the justice system as a political weapon. Fine. If he gets off after a fair trial, good for him. Um, that's, you know, I, I am not somebody who believes that the justice system should be used to shut him down. Um, I believe he lost a free and fair election in November 2020, and that should have been the end of it. In any normal political world, he would have gone off to give speeches or write or paint paintings like George W. Bush or make <laughs> Netflix shows like Barack Obama. Uh, but no, he refused to accept the result, incited an armed insurrection, and decided to run again. I wouldn't mind uh, if uh, if uh, Alvin Bragg was able to do this with George Bush. Uh, just uh, I'm just saying. I'm just putting that. I'm out on there. record. I, in fact, I had uh, Tom Nichols, the Atlantic writer, on my show this week. Uh, if anyone wants to watch, we had a very long debate. It's on YouTube about whether George Bush should be prosecuted for war crimes in Iraq. If Vladimir Putin can be in Ukraine, why not George W. Bush in Iraq? Couldn't agree more on that.